Okay guys, here's a quick video to show how to um, reverse a servo without having a servo reverser. Um, right now I got this um, tail wheel assembly for my P51 and I stripped the nylon gear. In fact, you can hear it uh, click like that. So it's a stripped gear um, and what I want to do is put this metal gear in. However, um, it actually runs the opposite direction. So if I put these together, yeah, you'll hear it kind of buzz noise, but watch this. So they kind of run opposite. What I want is to reverse the metal gear servo so it runs the same direction. So I can just drop it in and replace the old servo. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let me quick unplug the, uh, the power so I don't kill the battery. Alright, what you're going to need is uh, some soldering tools, um, something to hold the servo with, and a really tiny screwdriver, a Phillips head. Okay, let's go ahead and undo these four screws here. Okay, okay they're pretty long screws. All right, when you open it up, you're going to see a couple things here. Um, you're going to see, uh, oh, there it is. What we're going to end up doing is, let me pull this uh, circuit board out here. Kind of nice out in the open here. All right. What we're going to want to do here is we're going to want to desolder this black wire and this red wire and, and switch them around. Okay, and then what we're going to have to do is down inside here, we're going to also have to reverse the red and the black wires. Okay, so you get something that I can hold the servo with. I like to use this thing here. Okay, nice and secure. You're probably gonna you're probably gonna need a pair of needle nose pliers as well, just so you can grab these wires, since they are very small. So take your soldering iron, make sure it's clean. Okay, what we're gonna do is just uh, remove these wires, okay? Okay, that one's loose. Okay, and that one's loose. So just go ahead and solder it on the other side here. Make sure it's on there good. Alright, so... Alright, so 
kind of give them just a nice little pull and make sure they're on there good. I'll go ahead and touch this one up just a little bit. Okay, should be on there pretty good. Yep. <coughs> Alright, let me turn around the servo. And you'll notice these wires are very brittle. In fact, this black one already broke off. Okay, so what I'm going to have to do is strip that wire back a little bit. Just a little bit. Not want to strip. Okay, had to take a little pit stop there and uh, strip the end of that black wire that broke off. So I had a little trouble doing that. So hopefully now it goes okay. Okay. So we're gonna have to remove this red wire here. Desire it rather. Okay, you gotta be very careful in here. Okay, there it is. Now, what we want to do is take this red wire here. This black wire here. You know, make sure you take your time to Alright, give me some little tugs, make sure they're tight. Don't pull too hard. Okay, feels pretty tight. What you're going to want to do is try to slowly work this back into where you took it out of. So, kind of figure out how it went back in. This is probably the trickiest part.
Okay. Let's put it back together. Okay. Pay attention to uh, the way this case goes together. See where the wire comes out here? And on this case you'll see a little cut out here. It's not on that side. Make sure you want the wire comes out that little cut out there. Okay. Should we get everything nice and tight? Okay, everything looks nice and tight. Put this back on and we'll give it a try. And if we've done everything right, it should work. Now they're moving the same way. Okay. Now they're moving the same way. All right. Let me know if you got any questions. Thanks.